Guys, the doorbell has rang and was it opportunity? No, but it was my new Chanel. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's Posh. Welcome back. And today I have another fun little unboxing for you. So let's get into it. I make videos anytime I want, so please remember to hit subscribe below and ring that bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. If you saw my last video, I did give a little spoiler that I had another bag coming to me. Now this bag is replacing a bag I have since sold. So basically, for some reason right now, I am selling bags and then repurchasing the same exact bag in a different color or size. Basically, I'm just swapping out bags here now. So that's what happens as you age, guys. <laughs> I am still working on the garden. It's also something that you do as you age. Apparently, I was on TikTok and it's like, millennials, are we gardening now? Yes, we're gardening. So that's why we look like this. Open up this bag and then you'll see what it is and we'll discuss why I traded it. Here we go here. This is from Rebag. It is all wrapped up. I'm not quite sure if this comes with anything. I don't think it comes with, obviously not the box, but I'm not sure if it comes with a dust bag and stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It does come with a dust bag. Look at that. We're both surprised, right? Okay, here's the Chanel bag. And here we go. So I got the Chanel 19 in the size, I think they call this the size small. I had originally had the medium. Oh my goodness, I love this so much more already. This bag right here is in the black. I believe this is a calfskin leather. It is an absolutely gorgeous bag. I know people aren't talking about the Chanel 19 as much anymore, but I absolutely love it. I wish I could have it in all different sizes, but the prices have been very crazy on Chanel bags, as we all know. So my original Chanel bag that I'll kind of insert a picture here, this one I got for a really great deal. I got it for a little over $4,000, which is right around retail at the time. Someone was selling their bag and it was in a blue color, which was absolutely beautiful. And it was the size medium. Love that bag. However, I noticed due to the size and also the color, I didn't wear it as often as I wanted to. And when you have a bag that's that expensive, you should be wearing it. And I noticed myself forcing myself to wear it, even though I love the bag. It was nothing wrong with feel of the bag. The bag is very lightweight. It is so nice. If you see right here, this bag has a nice back pocket with a magnet, perfect for your cell phone. It is lightweight. It is so cool because you have this, which you can wear crossbody, shoulder bag, and you also have this, which you can wear as the crook of your arm. It, and it's just cool looking. So it had nothing to do with the actual bag itself. Why I ended up getting rid of that bag? For me, it was how the bag looked on me being a size medium bag. It was pretty big and I just thought it swallowed me a little bit. It kind of made me more petite than I am. I don't know. I'm just a short girl and I didn't think it looked as nice on me as you can see with some of these pictures. Like it's a cute bag, but also the color, that blue, for some reason, don't have many blue bags in my collection. I don't think, do I even have any blue bags anymore? I have one. I have one blue bag, which is back there, which is, oh no, two. I have my, my Birkin bag right here, which is a light blue, which is more like a jean. I don't find that hard to match with. And then I have my Sunset by the Sea bag, which is a really nice like ombre blue. But the bag that I had was kind of like a navy blue and I was just having a hard time finding outfits and stuff to go with it. So you can't go wrong with a beautiful black bag like this. I just figured that this would be perfect color and size. And I thought about getting maybe a lighter bag, but I just know myself, I'm gonna use this more. I know I'm turning into a basic B getting a black bag. I usually never get black bags, but for a black bag, she fancy, all right? She fancy, she got all this metal. She's got all the different types of mixed metals. Why I love this, you have the gold, you can't get one that have the CCs in the like the silver and I think there's the you know the gunmetal that they have which is kind of like what this one is right here it reminds me of it's like a silver and gunmetal as you can see right here how it's like shiny and then it goes to that I just love the gold I love how this looks let's open her up here she is taking the stuffing out it is a little bit of a slouchy bag but the larger one was a lot more slouchy and then you look this one looks like barely used little zipper here it comes with the card authenticity card 
It just doesn't have, and I think it has, yep. So this is, I forget when the new ones came out, but it does have the actual D number in there where it, the other ones you have the metal. And I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love just the look of this bag. I love crinkled leather. I just totally recommend this bag. Okay, so how much did I pay for this bag? I sold my other bag and you know, if you've been reselling, it sucks. So I went to try to sell the bag to Rebag because I figure, oh, I am a diamond member with them, which means that I get more money for trades. So I went and I was like, okay, that would be like a perfect trade. And I figured I would probably get for the medium size, which is not as more sought after. I was probably thinking around 3,000, a little over 3,000 for it because when I originally bought it, it was around 4,000. You know, you never get your money back, Chanel bags or any bag in general. I scanned, I did it and I got, and they said they weren't even looking for the medium bags. And I'm like, well, that sucks. So then I went ahead, went and did Yugi's closets and they offered me right around the 3000 mark. They offered me either 2,700 or 3000, like right around there based on what it's gonna look like when they got it. And I had a full set. So I had everything that went with it. And I said that even with a full set, they were only gonna offer me around the 3000 mark. I have not got the money back for it yet because UV Closet is just, I'm just waiting for them to look it over and then give me my cash. But I didn't wanna wait on this because they were having a 15% off thing that I could use. And I saw this bag and this bag was listed for right around $5,300. And then I got the 15% off on that. And then I also traded the bag, if you hadn't seen my other video, that I decided to trade back my Louis Vuitton PM Monsoor bag that I had gotten <laughs> completely, almost like brand new, like all the leather was replaced. And Rebag was offering me like a little over 900, I think it was $960 trade. So if you haven't seen the video, I will have it here for you. But basically I traded that bag back to them. So that made this bag with tax and everything, I think it was right around $4,000 because I also had the 15% off that I got. I traded a bag and then I am getting $3,000 for that. So this bag will probably cost me right around a thousand ish of my own money and I was definitely comfortable paying that especially for a bag that I'm going to absolutely love and that's what I've been doing this year I don't know what you guys have been doing but before I buy a bag I've been purging I've been selling shoes and other things kind of cleaning out stuff that I no longer use and then bringing stuff in I just don't buy brand new anymore either because I just can't justify those crazy prices even if I can afford it like I could get a lot more bags for the price of a brand new bag. So that is my spiel with this. However, I still think this bag is super gorgeous. I know people aren't talking about it, but I had never had any problems with the quality of my bag, the softness of the leather. It is a calfskin, but it has this sheen on it. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's try it on, shall we? This bag can make my gardening outfit look fierce then it is cool. So here it is, just, oh, look at me. I'm just going and getting my groceries kind of look. Top handle, and then we're gonna put this on the shoulder. And yeah, I just think that this fits my frame so much better. And I just think, look, crossbody. I just think this looks so stinking cool. Fits everything you need and then some. And let's get a close up. I want you just to see the gorgeous that is this bag see this the beautiful quilting how it has like a little bit of a sheen on it you have this pocket that's where I put my cell phone perfect and it's a magnet I don't know if you heard that and then this just opens up you put everything you need in there you have a zipper in the back I usually never put anything back there put all your stuff in so easy to close and look at all this like mixed metal so it doesn't even matter what you wear even though it shouldn't but it just, and I feel like it looks just cool. I don't know if I dress up in a nice dress outfit to wear it, but who knows? Let's just play around with this bag. But I love this part. It's my favorite part. Like you having this strap here, it is so comfortable to rest here. You don't have to worry about your arm getting super like cold. Like if I had a t-shirt on or sleeveless, the metal, the cold metal isn't touching my shoulder and I'm not getting super cold. Okay guys, that is everything. What do we think of this new beauty? Please let me know, are there some bags that you are trading out? Are you doing what I'm doing? Like just purging, shopping in your closet and things that you're no longer needing, shipping them off, selling them, taking a loss on them, who cares, but upgrading to something else you know you'll love? Discuss in the comments down below. And as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye guys.